Uh, this headache is killing me. Don't worry, Alan. Just two more days and then it should wear off, hopefully. I still don't get how you got access to a Kenyan rage flower. Do you remember eating or drinking anything strange? Unfortunately, most of the memory of that day is a blur. All I have, all I have is a vague memory of water, but that's it. Hey, Pusa, you notice how the food is actually good today? Yeah, strange. It actually has flavor. Hmm, not bad. Yeah, I mean, the food's good and all, and, uh, but, uh, it's kind of making me feel weird, eh? Uh, does anyone else feel numb? Ugh. Persan, are you a- Ugh. Lightweights, Vanguard has no such weaknesses. Vanguard never feels numb, and Vanguard never- Ugh. All right, they're out. I guess we can move on now. Mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish. And invertebrae. Members of each of these groups will compete to see who will win and who will swim. This is the ultimate splashdown. Uh, 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 huh? What the? Where are we? Uh, what? What the? Hey, this isn't. This isn't the island. Where are we? Uh, why do I feel something on my neck? Ugh. Yeah, I, I would like to know what's going on too. Ugh, yeah. Uh, hey, hey, wait, what's that etched on the rock? Hey, it's a note. Dear fishies, you may be wondering what's going on. Well, welcome to today's challenge. You guys are left out in the middle of the ocean a good deal away from the island, and it is your job to go find it. It is about a day's swim, so I recommend you start going. Love, your host, Clam McMuscle. Well, that's just great. That's... that's really great. Oh, what's the matter, Garcon? Afraid of a little physical movement? <laughs> that makes sense. You always were such a lazy... slog or slug or something. Whatever. Ugh, shut it, Orson. A a and there's more. By the way, I've given all of you air breathers false gills, and you're all your original sizes again for the time being. Ah, great. Well, no use floating around. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Gerald, you need help or... Oh. Well, uh, okay then. Well, Atlantic Aces, let's move out. Pacific pros, you heard the shark. Let's roll. So, Monty, what are we going to do about this? It's simple. We just trick them into leaving someone behind. <laughs> Can we do the clownfish already, please? I know he's not actually the real... Uh, Traitor clownfish, but, but, uh, I just hate him anyway. He's close enough. All right, fine, we'll get rid of the clownfish if we'll get you to shut up. Ugh. A few minutes later. Oh, we're fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Yes, we are. And we all swim together like a quartet of something, like a bird or something. I don't know, we didn't think this far ahead of what to see. Yeah. But we're fish anyway. Hey, Martin. Oh, what do you two want? Oh, nothing. It's just that I'm pretty sure I saw Pixar's lawyers in these waters. And, uh, they do not look happy to be here, so, um, yeah. Hide me! Hide me! Gotta hide! Gotta hide! Like shooting fish in a barrel. Just because we're not a literally fish doesn't mean we can't be fish in our hearts. And when we're fish in our hearts, that's what all we have to say, because we're all fish at the end of the day. Ba-da-da-dum, bum, bum. Wait, where are we going again? Huh. I feel like we were supposed to go somewhere, but... But where? Ugh. Stupid ill lied to me. Ugh. Hey, I know you. Gora, what are you doing here? And wait a minute. Where did our teams go? Oh, they swam off in, uh, huh, some direction. Well, we should get going too. You mean you don't even know where we're going? Ugh. How are we going to get back if we don't even know where our teams are? Oh, calm down, grumpy gills. Having no it always cheers you up. Let's go with song. 
Just keep paddling, just keep paddling, just keep paddling. Oh, sweet Poseidon, please tell me this is a nightmare. I'm going to wake up from it any minute. A few hours later. All right, everyone, good news and bad news. Good news is that I can't see the other team anymore. So we probably outswam them or something. Or we went in different directions. I don't know. But that brings me to my bad news. I have no idea where we're going. He never gave us any directions. No directions! How are we going to make it back to the island then? Hey! What do you guys think you're doing? This is my turf. See that? You see that sign over there? It says my name on it? Yeah, that's mine. And it means no trespassers. Hey, listen, pal. We're just trying to find directions back to our base camp. Now, if you don't start talking, I am going to tear you piece by piece. Got it? Yeah, like I'm going to be scared of a tiny... What are you, like a tuna or something? Tuna? I am Sir Rana of the College Educational Department of Science Board thing experiment number one. Got it, punk? Oh, yeah, like a, oh, you're a piranha. Yeah, never heard of them. Anyway, get out of my turf, everybody, before I give you a furious thrashing. Listen here, you little punk. Mangwin does not like being told what to do. If you weren't an endangered species, Mangwin would tear your fin off and turn it into soup. Ooh, little birdie. Ooh, I'm so terrified. Hey, nice rubber around your neck. What did you do, fall into another six-pack ring? Like the dumb bird you are? <laughs> you know, you are being very much a jerk right now. Oh, look, it's a sourpuss squid. Oh, I'm so terrified. Yeah, run home and do another baby show, you little baby character. Yeah, people wear diapers of you. I'm not scared of a little squid. You're all just a bunch of losers. You don't scare me. Not one bit. Guys, I thought I told you to wait while I was using the bathroom. Shark! Dude, you are a shark. Yeah, but I'm a hammerhead. It's a great white. Do you know what those things can do to us? Oh, I see. You're afraid of great whites, huh? Oh, well, it's too bad that we don't know where we're going. Too bad, because there's food there and it... Might be able to satiate his hunger for hammerhead flesh. Uh, yeah! I'm feeling I might pickish for some hammerhead soup if I don't know where I'm going, because there's food there. But, if we're not going to get there anyway, I guess I'll just have to settle for a nice big hammerhead souffle. <laughs> no, no, don't kill me, don't kill me! Okay, I'll tell you where to go. Now that's better. <laughs> hey, but hurry up, I'm getting hungry. And while Orson, we're lost, aren't we? No, we are not lost. I know exactly where we're going. I just need to ask directions from somebody. Oh, hey, over there. Let's ask those two. Oh, Mimi, your impressions get better every day, I swear. Well, it takes years of practice, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it. Hey, you two, listen. The orc is speaking now. Look. I need directions back to the island where they hosted the ultimate splashdown. Do either of you know where I might be able to find it? Hey, I was on the ultimate splashdown. That's actually where I met Mimi. We've been dating for like five years now. Yep, that was the one good thing to come out of that. Everything else was... Ugh, kind of bad, not gonna lie. Ooh. Did I ask for your sob story? No, I asked for directions. Now give them to me. Directions? Huh. That's an interesting choice of words, but, uh, I guess I could give you directions if you, like, uh, do something for me, I guess. Hey, I do not make deals with- Wait a minute, where'd the octopus go? Octopus? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just a horseshoe crab, and I've been here this whole time. What are you, blind? There was an octopus here just- Wait, wait, where'd the snake go? Oi, mate, what are you talking about? I'm just a penguin, and I'm the only thing that's ever been here this whole time, mate. Listen here, you little flightless bird. You tell us where we're going or I'll do what orcas are supposed to do around penguins and- Wait a minute, now where'd the horseshoe crab go? Wow, this is embarrassing. Ugh, tell me about it. Orson, that's a mimic octopus. They pretend to be other animals in order to trick stupid creatures. Wow, I'm surprised you knew that. Well, it's because I watch Monsters of the Deep, only on Mr. G Productions. You know, I like you, Mr. Gator. I'll tell you the directions instead. Meanwhile, again... Dora, check it out. Now listen, he is. If I don't have my money by next week, I will decimate your entire family. Capiche? 
Yes, 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 sir. Yeah, now get out of here. You disgust me. Yes, sir. Ugh, I hate people like that. Right, boys? Yeah, people like that really tick us off, boss. Well, that's groupers for you. Some of the dumbest creatures in all the ocean. Hey, maybe they can give us directions. Dora, no. Dora, those are groupers. They'll eat us alive if they see us. Okay? Well, I, I just thought... No, that's a thing. You don't think. You never think. You always just burst into every situation without ever thinking about any possibility. It's like every time you get into trouble, it's always because you barrel right into something without thinking about it. Do you ever think? I... 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 You! Are you the one picking on this lady? All I said was that we should ask directions, but he went on a rant about how groupers are stupid or something like that. I don't remember. I don't have good memory. Oh, I get it. You make fun of groupers, and you're rude to people just because they're a little different in the head. You, sir, disgust me. Boys, take him out. Oh, you're going down, little brute clownfish. Hey, it's okay. You don't need to cry. He's getting beat up right now, so... Hey, how about you tell me where you're trying to go, and maybe I can help you out, see? Trying to find the ultimate splashdown island, but we don't know where it is. Hey, the ultimate splashdown! I love that show, and... Wait a minute, you're Dora and Martin! Ah, I thought I recognized you too. Okay, I'll tell you where to go. You just gotta keep going yeah, straightish, and then take a right when you get to the kelp forest, okay? Okay. Boys, you can let him go now. Well... See you later, little missus. I got a bunch of other fish I gotta interrogate. See ya! Bye, guys. Thanks for the directions. Later that night? Hey, Alan, I have a question now that we're kind of, like, settled down for the night. Uh, I've been meaning to ask, why did you join the reptilians in the first place? All right, look. When the reptilians reached out to me because I knew about Mr. G and... and this other guys like him... Uh, I mostly took it because they offered me a lot of money, and... Thing is, as a Cayman, there's not a lot of jobs for me out there, you know? I can't just walk up to a place and be like, can I have a job? And nine times out of ten, everyone will just start freaking out about, Oh my gosh, talking Cayman, or crocodile, or alligator, as they usually say, because no one knows what Cayman are, apparently. <sighs> so, it was really my only opportunity to get more money. I like the swamp and all, but I want nicer things, you know? Ugh, I know how you feel. After I was kicked out of the military for stupidity reasons, I tried finding a job everywhere, but then everyone was always like, Oh, seal, oh, too, too gross, or, or they would be like, You don't even have fingers, what can you do? And it was really disheartening, you know? Luckily, there's that jack shop, but that eventually shut down. Ugh, I guess that's why I look looking for strange things. It just remind me that I'm not the weirdest thing in the world, you know? What about you, Annie? What's your story? Why are you a snake-human thing? Uh, I was part of an experiment to try to turn animals into exact copies of humans. But unfortunately, I was considered a failure because I was still too snake-like. So they dumped me in the middle of the rainforest, and because of that, I've never really fit in with either snake or human because... Well, look at me. I'm both both and neither at the same time. <laughs> If I had feet, I would definitely kick the scientist who made me across the face. But I don't have feet, so I guess I could just slap him or something with my tail, but I don't think that would give the same message. That sucks. I don't even know where I came from. My earliest memory was waking up in the swamp, and there was just blood coming out of my head. I think I got amnesia after I hit my head or something, and that's why I can't remember, but... Honestly, sometimes I feel like I'm better off not knowing where I came from. I feel like that would give me too much to think about, you know? Yeah, I get it. But hey, on a brighter note, horse and sleeping, what is that? What is that? Did half his brain die or something? <laughs> oh yeah, that, that looks ridiculous. What the heck? Hey, shut up. This is just how whales sleep, okay? Yeah, just keep telling yourself that, buddy. Shut up and go to bed, you guys. Ugh, so rude. Wow, Garçon, he really stole all of your ideas and didn't even credit you? Man, that sucks. Yeah, it sucks. And you know what the worst part is? My name isn't even Garçon. My real name is Phineas. But 
He never calls me that. And he convinced everyone that I prefer being called Garçon. <sighs> I would walk away from him, but he threatened to kill my family if I ever did. Oh, and then there is the best part. Best part was the time he put my brain in a dolphin without ever consulting me once. Then he told my family I was dead. So now I don't even know if they'll ever look for me. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, Phineas. I just, I don't blame you. It's, it's Orson. It's completely Orson's fault. He's always so jealous of everything. He thinks that if he didn't make it, then it's terrible and he has to ride its coattails somehow. Oh. But I don't blame you. You wanted to be a shark, and that's good for you. But like I said, I don't blame you. It's completely his fault for being jealous of you in the first place. He is completely motivated by jealousy, and it, that just drives me nuts because it leads to him doing stuff like this. I'm just gonna go to bed. Hey, Serana, I have a question. I've noticed that ever since you hit your head during, uh, that crew hunt, or muskrat, whatever he was, you've been a lot more aggressive ever since you hit that rock. What are you talking about? I'm completely the same. I, I feel the same, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I'm completely fine. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing happened. Got it? Got it, I guess. Well, good night. Good night, Bat Brick. Good night, Octoward. Hey, um, uh, Angie, can you turn your lights off? I sleep better in complete darkness. Hey, does it look like I can turn them off? Hey, Martin, why do we rip off Pixar movies anyway? Hey, we do not rip anyone off. Lixar is a completely independent studio that has nothing to do with any other company. We make original movies like Plastic Parable or An Insect's Existence or Vehicles. We do not copy anyone else. Now, good night that morning. Hey, look at that. I've never seen a jellyfish like that before. It's kind of beautiful. Yeah, I agree. Let's touch it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dora, no, we are not touching it. We don't know what that thing will do. You could stop your heart if you so much as graze it or something like that. Look, I am sorry for yesterday. I was kind of rude, but I really do kind of mean it. Y you typically don't think, you know? And because of that, you tend to just barge into... Yow! Hmm. Martin, are you okay? I'm an Italian girl in an Italian world. I like Italian food and kissing Italian boys. Okay, you're good. Let's get swimming. Excuse us, you two. We're in a hurry. Sorry, do those two look familiar to you? Later. Guys, look! The finish line! Cause we're all fish and we're gonna win. No! No, 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 no! no. We won! Ugh, you stupid team, can't you stupid fish do anything right? Ugh. Now the Atlantic Aces have beat us again. And now we're gonna have to send someone home. It's probably gonna be... I don't know, Seal Guy's been kind of annoying to me recently. So you know what? You guys are all losers. Thanks a lot. We lost to Loserberg because of all you. You. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Mr. Orca. I don't know if you've noticed this, but neither of you guys win. You have to get your whole team across. And, um, it looks like we got two fishies, one from each team, that aren't here. So, whichever one of them arrives first, then their team will be the victor. Hey, wait! Dora! I see you're off in the distance! Dora! Come here! Come here! Come here, Dora! Here, Dora! Whoop. Dora! Martin, look! There's our team, and I think they're calling me. Crazy there! I'm an Australian girl. Hey guys, what I miss? And the Pacific Crows win! Looks like the Atlantic Aces will be sending someone home. Again. Martin, what the heck? Why didn't you try to catch up to her? Hey, I know those eyes. Those are the eyes you get when you're exposed to, uh, uh, I don't know their scientific name, but they're these purple jellyfish that inject you for hallucinogen ten times more powerful than LSD. <laughs> Looks like someone was, uh, getting down with the jellies. <laughs> oh, I get it. You were getting high with your girlfriend instead of actually helping your team. Yeah, thanks a lot, you clownfish. I am a Scottish girl in my own Scottish world. That night? Wow, talk about unanimous. I'm not even going to read them out tonight, because everyone agreed on who's getting the boot today.
Martin, you're out of here. What? <clears throat> That's... This is this is unfair. Just because I was a little inebriated, you guys decided to get rid of me? Ugh. Ugh. Fine, I'll go. Can I talk to Dora first, though? Fine, but don't keep the volcano waiting. It gets hungry around this time of day. Dora, listen. It's up to you now. Win that money for us so we can make so we can make locating Dora. This is our lifelong dream, okay? Okay. Goodbye, Dora. And remember, just keep Ah. Uh, never gets old, does it? <laughs> Later that night. Can't believe it. Martin's gone. Now now I'm here on my own. What am I gonna do? Who can I talk to now? Well, hey there, Dora. I hear you need someone to hang out with. I think I know just the whale. What does Orson have planned with Dora? Well, looks like you'll have to find out next time on The Ultimate Splashdown. Good night, everybody.